A family today is honoring their son with a blood drive. KSHB 41 News reporter Jordan Betts joins us live this morning at Westport Roanoke Community Center with more on this story. Jordan, why this family and why today? Hey, Taylor and hey, Reg. Yeah, today the Piscina family is hoping to honor their son. Actually, one of their youngest sons is hoping to be an Eagle Scout. He needed to do a project. Him and his dad love to listen to NPR and they heard about blood shortage so that he thought I'm going to do a blood drive. And so they decided to pick this community center that's just right behind me here in KC Mo. The date, they only had one date available this summer and it happened to be on his late brother's birthday. We'll show a few photos of his late brother. Uh, they called him uh, Uzi, but it goes by Uzi El Piscina. He died by suicide back in 2016. Family describing him as a man who wanted to help other people in any way he could, even without any recognition. And today would have been his 24th birthday. Something I would tell a parent to kind of look out for. One is perfectionism, just trying to be the best in everything. It's impossible to be the best in everything, right? Somehow he accomplished it, but God knows what toll, right? It, he, it was taking on him. Today's event goes from 12 to 5. If you or anyone else you know are struggling, there actually is a new suicide prevention hotline number. You can call or text 988. Taylor and Ray. So, Jordan, how can people sign up? Yeah, they can actually do it in several different ways. You can go to uh, redcrossblood.org. You can download their app. And this is something that I didn't even know you could do. You can also use your Amazon Echo to schedule an appointment with the Red Cross. And it was uh, here at the Westport Roanoke Community Center. And again, 12 to 5, guys.